Hello, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Lauren. If you're new, I'm about to finish doing my makeup. I have to go take a photo for Princess Polly for my Instagram. If you saw my last vlog, I did a summer Princess Polly haul, so I'll link that video down below. Definitely check it out. Got some really cute pieces for summer so i need to go take a photo for them for my instagram and run a couple errands today i need to drop clothes off at plato's closet i need to go to the grocery store take that photo meal prep things like that it's sunday so i'm doing a daily vlog just a day in my life and while i'm getting ready i had to place a sephora order actually i'm like starting to run out of makeup so i placed an order and picked up some new things and some repurchases of things so wanted to share my box so first i got two new shades of the Giorgio armani luminous Soap foundation i always get two it's kind of like mixed depending on how tan or how fair i am so got two of them my makeup on my face looks a little bit light today i usually have the big size bottles but i got the small size i feel like i should have just got the big size because the price difference wasn't that much and i feel like the size is a big difference off so i got two of these i also got a little liner by tarte um for my waterline i've used drugstore eyeliner for my waterline for years i never knew how good more expensive liner was and how well it stays and sticks to your eyes but i got this in the advent calendar that i got in december and i finally like i ran out of it a couple months ago but i finally purchased like the full size of it and two more of the products I actually got in the advent calendar from Sephora. And it was like a whole favorites of the year from Sephora. And it made me buy the full size of some of the products. So I'll be doing that advent calendar probably yearly because it's influenced me to buy certain products. So the next two that I originally tried in the advent calendar are the... Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Love this mascara. It's really good. I layer this with a drugstore, the Maybelline Rocket Mascara, which I love. And I also loved the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I probably butchered that, but I tried my best. So I loved these two mascaras. And then next are all new products that I'm excited about. So i'll finish off with makeup so i got the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish complexion perfecting micro powder i got the mini one to try kind of just powder certain parts of my face i don't like to powder my whole entire face because my skin is dry ever since Accutane. So I kind of like the dewy-ish look, not super matte all over. So I got the mini one of this to try. I got it in the shade medium. Got that. And this I'm so excited about. I got the Charlotte Tilbury matte bronzing filter. It's for face and body, which I didn't know. It was for both so pretty i've been using the same bronzer for forever okay so i got it in the shade two medium so i'm so excited to have a new bronzer i was using this like really cheap drugstore one for a really long time and then also the nars laguna bronzer that i've also had for a really long time and my makeup expires and i basically am running out of those so i'm excited to have that new one Next is hair care, and last year I helped my friend Taylor clean out her like, room, bathroom, closet, all of her products, and she has extensions, so she gave me a lot of her hair care products that she can't use on extensions, so I had a ton of leave-in conditioner that I've been using for the past year, and they last me this long so i haven't had to buy anything but i am running out so i wanted to try something new and i got the crown affair leave-in conditioner and i've never tried any crown affair products so i'm really excited about this one 
nice quality bottle. So got this lightweight, universally nourishing cream for touchable, hydrated, well-defined hair. So I'm excited to try that out. But that's everything that I got from Sephora. I think I'm gonna try the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer right now and see how it works. I just used the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand on my face, so I'm gonna set it with this bronzer. I'm so excited. I don't know how pigmented it is. Super pretty, adds a nice color, and it looks like it's super buildable. So, I'm excited about that. I'll link all these products down below. And I'm gonna finish out doing my makeup. I'll share my outfit that I'm gonna be shooting for Princess Polly. And I'm kinda deciding between two of them. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go with more of a casual one and not a dress. Last time I posted a dress, but I wanna save those for photos for my upcoming trips. So, is there anyone else like that? Where they like save an outfit for like a special occasion? I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll share my outfit when I'm about to leave. Okay, I'm gonna go shoot a photo for Princess Polly. Christian's gonna take my photo. This is what I chose to wear for the photo. So the two-piece set is obviously Princess Polly and then I'm wearing a Skims tank top with it. And then high top Converse. It's raining, so we're gonna go drive to the location and then hopefully it kind of clears up for a little bit so I can grab a photo real quick. And then I don't know if we'll go straight to run errands after the photo or come back home before, but hopefully the photo turns out pretty decent. I think the outfit is pretty cute. We just got home from taking the photo for Princess Polly and we went to the grocery. Here's just a quick overview of everything we got. I'm gonna put all this away and cook some lunch and then start meal prepping. Just made a quick lunch. These are really hard to roll into burritos just because of the type of wrap it is. So we'll probably just stick to the smaller tortillas, but just did a buffalo chicken wrap. These buffalo chicken breasts are from Target with a little bit of buffalo sauce and ranch, and then blue cheese crumbles and some lettuce, and I put it in the pan to kind of keep it together, but as you can see, it kind of falls apart on the edges. Looks really yummy, so I'm gonna eat this for lunch and then start meal prepping. Okay, I just finished meal prepping. I cleaned up the kitchen, started the dishwasher, and did a quick sweep of the floors. And I wanted to share some of the sauces that I got in the mail like a week and a half ago to kind of spice up our meal preps. So I ordered these online. I also burned myself on my thumb. So the sauce flavors, I ordered them online because I couldn't get them in store. They don't sell them um, near me, but I think they sell them um, across the United States, maybe in other states, but not in mine. So it's by the brand Side Dish. And they have a couple different sauces on their website. I think they just came out with a taco bowl one that's like perfect for, it's like a taco seasoning one. This came in a pack of three. I don't know if you can order the sauces individually. I think they only come in a pack of three. I wanted to try them all because I didn't know which one I would like the most. So I got 
the honey Dijon, creamy sesame, and then the Chipotle ranch, which is really good. We've tried this one and we've also tried this one, but I can link the website down below and you can also search to see if they have them in stores near you. But just got this to kind of spice up the usual meal prep. You can drizzle it over and kind of change the flavors. So wanted to share this. I'm gonna be using, maybe I'll use a different sauce every day this week because our meal preps are usually pretty, especially the one that I cooked this week, you can kind of change up the flavors to anything and add whatever sauce you want. So I'm excited to have these. Just wanted to share just in case you're in the same boat and you're kind of sick of the same flavors. Switch up the sauce and it will taste like a different meal prep. Okay, I'm about to get in the shower and I wanted to try out the DHC deep cleansing oil that I got in my last vlog, which was yesterday. So if you missed that vlog, um, I'll link it, but I got the DHC deep cleansing oil from Ulta yesterday. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know I've been using the Inky List oat cleansing balm and it's cut open like this to try and get every last bit of the product out and I still have a little bit left or like quite a bit left so I'll be using that until it's done but I wanted to try something new my skin has been so dry lately so I switched to a more moisturizing or hydrating cleanser instead of the Cetaphil one that I was using I haven't used the hydrating one by this brand but I've used the regular one so I'm kind of just like thinking that I'm over drying my face maybe with my cleanser because I would get out of the shower and my skin would be so tight and it's definitely from my cleanser and I'm also conscious of how hot the water is that I use to wash my face because I wash my face in the shower so I'm conscious of that I always turn down the heat when I do wash my face so I think it has something to do with the face wash that I was using because I didn't use to have that issue when I used the CeraVe hydrating. So switch to this and then I'm thinking that maybe using a oil cleanser will help even though the oat cleansing balm is supposed to be gentle and pretty moisturizing. You can even use it as a mask as well. But I wanted to switch it up because I have repurchased that like a hundred times. So I'm gonna try out the DHC deep cleansing oil. This was relatively affordable, but it is pretty small. I'm gonna try this out. Hopefully it helps with my dry skin. I'm gonna put a headband on. I always wear these when showering, when I don't wash my hair. It helps, so I put this on around my hairline. So when I do put my shower cap on, it doesn't like touch or get the like rim of my hair wet when showering so i always put a headband and then this like sits these will get kind of like dirty from um the cleansing balm and face wash and stuff so i just put these in the washing machine with this i always i wash this like once a week too dispense two to three pumps into dry hands doing a pretty good job and the oil isn't irritating my eyes either. I feel like that did a pretty good job of dissolving my makeup so I'm gonna go in and actually wash my face. Okay, one thing I instantly notice is that my face doesn't feel dry and tight after using both of those products. I think that's gonna be the trick back to kind of hydrating and then when I need more of like a deep clean like a not super hydrating and suds up maybe I'll use the Cetaphil one when traveling or when my skin needs like some extra cleansing really like this and really like this so I'll link both of these products down below I love how my skin doesn't feel super tight and smooth I also um, dermaplane my face last night 
with these. I know you can get these on Amazon and they just get all of that like peach fuzz off and like dead skin. I always use a face oil when using these. I never use it on dry skin so it easily like glides on your face. But I'm gonna get in the shower and take a body shower and get in PJs and get in bed. We cleaned our bed sheets today so there's nothing better than ending a weekend and starting a work week with clean bed sheets. So I'm gonna shower and head to bed.